Step one, start early, be patient. The first rule of thumb for anyone who wants to step into the world of investment is quite simple. Start early and be patient. For me, the cornerstone of financial success is compound interest. Let's take a closer look at this magical concept. Compound interest is the magic that makes your money grow over time. By investing early, you maximize the time it takes for your money to grow. Think of it as a snowball rolling down a hill, getting bigger and faster as it rolls down the hill. So starting to invest today, rather than waiting, is the first step on the road to greater and faster financial success in the future. However, remember that every success requires patience. Don't expect your investments to grow immediately. It takes time for the snowball to gain momentum, just as it takes time for your investments to grow. Be patient and keep your long-term goals in mind. Step two, smart saving. Now it's time for smart saving. Imagine your financial life as a leaky bucket. Every time you cut out unnecessary spending, it's like repairing leaks. At the same time, by managing your spending more consciously, you make your money flow more effectively. And what do you do with the water you save? Of course, you pour it into the investment bucket. By budgeting wisely and reviewing your spending, you free up extra money that you can allocate to your investments. Every dollar saved brings you one step closer to your future financial goals. Remember that every dollar saved becomes a resource that works for you. So if you want to shape your financial future, you need to start saving wisely. Keep track of every dollar you spend and use that money to invest in your future. Your smart savings will give you a significant advantage on the path to your financial goals. Step three, diversify, don't gamble. There is a principle I often talk about in the investment world, diversification. This means not putting all your eggs in the same basket. It is important to spread your investments wisely across different asset classes and sectors. Why, you ask, because this approach reduces your risk. If one sector or asset performs poorly, your other investments can offset those losses. For me, investing is about slowly building wealth, not gambling. Diversifying your investments is key to increasing your financial security and protecting against market volatility. So stay away from the unknown and don't put money into a business where you don't know what you're doing. By taking a long-term and diversified approach, you can move more strongly towards your financial goals. Diversify your investments and solidify your foundations for future financial success. Step four, thinking long-term. Now is the time to change your mindset. Chasing quick wins may seem exciting, but it's often not a sustainable strategy. Instead, focus on long-term thinking. Think of your investments like a garden. You plant the seeds, nurture them, and wait for them to grow into healthy, productive trees. In the financial world, the patient investor is usually the successful investor. Instead of being influenced by short-term fluctuations, keep your long-term goals in mind. Remember that time is your investment's best friend. Just as a tree bears fruit when it takes root and grows, your investments can grow over time and provide you with a steady return. Patience is one of the keys to financial success. Instead of looking for quick results, think long-term and secure your financial future. Step five, educate yourself. Now, in the world of investing, continuous learning is very important. I am a bookworm and a constant learner, and you should be too. Gaining a wide range of knowledge about different investment strategies, financial markets, and economic trends will give you a huge advantage. Financial literacy is your compass on this journey. The more you know, the better equipped you are to make informed decisions. Reading a financial book, studying a financial news article, or attending an economics class can help you increase your financial awareness. Learning will open the doors to financial success. Remember that knowledge is power and it will help you better guide your investments. Continuously educate yourself and keep a close eye on the financial world. Informed decisions will increase your financial success. 
So keep learning and strengthen your financial future. Step six, own market fluctuations. Market volatility can be a frightening phenomenon for investors, especially when stock prices plummet during bear markets. But remember that these fluctuations are a fact of the investment world and understanding them is important for financial success. In fact, these fluctuations themselves can turn into opportunities. During market downturns, many quality stocks and assets are offered at lower prices. This can be an advantage for investors who think long term and act boldly. For example, by buying a good company's stock at a more favorable price during these periods, you can benefit from its future growth. Step seven, Warren's preferences. Now, let's talk about Warren Buffett's preferred sectors. I am attracted to businesses that provide core products and services, particularly consumer goods and insurance. These sectors often show stability and the potential for long-term growth. My financial success is strongly correlated with investments in these types of companies. Exploring these areas as part of your investment strategy be beneficial for you too. Of course, every investor's strategy is different and you should do your own research. But my preferences emphasize long-term thinking and a focus on fundamentals. Sectors such as consumer products and insurance have the potential to support this approach. Remember that successful investing starts with forging your own path. Eight, stocks. Instead of speculation, invest in companies you believe in, not speculative assets. While speculative assets can promise quick riches, they often come with high risks. My success has been built on investing in well-established companies with solid fundamentals. So prioritize stocks over speculation for a more reliable journey to wealth. Speculative assets are often subject to short-term volatility and uncertainty. The prices of such assets can rise rapidly, but they can also fall just as fast. My preference is to invest for the long term in companies with solid fundamentals. Such companies are based on fundamentals such as tight management, strong financial health, and steady growth. Step nine, the quality over quantity. Quality over quantity. This principle cannot be emphasized enough. My strategy is not about owning a large number of shares. It's about owning a select few quality investments. By focusing your resources on the best opportunities, you increase your chances of success. Remember, it's not the number of investments you own, it's their performance. Most investors think that owning many different stocks is diversification, but my view is different. Focusing on quality investments can increase your chances of a better financial outcome. When evaluating whether an investment is successful or not, it's the quality of that investment that you should pay attention to. Many mediocre investments often overshadow a good investment. Step 10, mentoring matters. Last, but certainly not least, seek mentorship. Learning from experienced investors can be a game changer. They have walked the path you are walking now and made mistakes along the way. By seeking their advice and learning from their experience, you can avoid many pitfalls and accelerate your financial success. A mentor can guide you, provide you with valuable information and insights and help you avoid going down the wrong path. Being a student of someone experienced in this journey can accelerate your financial success. I myself have grown under the influence of many uh, mentors throughout my career and know the value of these experiences. Ultimately, seeking mentorship can accelerate your financial success and help you build a more solid foundation. A mentor is a guide who will teach and guide you. Learning from their experience can help you become a more informed and successful investor in the investment world. Thank you for watching Money Journeys channel. I hope this teaching sheds light on your $100,000 goal. Subscribe and don't forget to like. Thanks.